Welcome to Technotis. So, good news. Be Quiet just released some new interesting products. Well, they kind of actually tweaked some of the older line of products and now they're even better. So, let's talk. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. You the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out whokeys.com in the video description below. First of all, they have some new coolers. Um, and basically, you're going to see a theme here going around where the naming has a new like two letters which is fx which basically means that you've got the you know light wings on the actual coolers so first of all we've got an air cooler the pure rock 2 fx so basically this is like a mid tower cooler or kind of mid-range cooler 150 watt tdp roughly to like i7 intel level and then anything amd kind of goes with this type of cooler so you've got the single tower cooler in here as you can see pre-applied thermal paste with four heat pipes and the heat pipe are directly touching the actual IHS of the cooler and then on the top you've got be quiet and it comes with the light wings fan so this is the 120 millimeter one and this one goes to 2000 rpm so this is probably the HS version actually or the high speed variant that goes a little bit faster we did use these fans actually on the uh, small form factor uh, PC build that we did inside the John's plus i 100 pro case absolutely awesome uh, build go check that one out these are the same fans now that are gonna go and match up with this cooler and then basically that's that's pretty much it i really like these fans just because they're not like mental rgb but they're just kind of like a tasteful rgb and i like that the circles are perfectly round some of them like you know aren't quite perfectly round i can't wait to build with this because this is kind of like the budget end of the products i don't know when it gets to like the cheaper part of them or budget end of them i don't know they just seems sometimes more exciting to me than just like some of the balls to walls kind of products which leads me to the next thing this one over here so this is the pure loop 360 millimeter aio and this one now has not just only the light wings three light wings there for the uh, like fans but also the be quiet logo now that was that used to be just white is now actually rgb as well and then now it can be um you know changed you know and configured this does come in like 240 280 and 360 millimeter a variant but i wanted to get this one because most likely when we're going to be doing build inside this case which we're going to talk about in a moment i wanted the three to actually match the front as well by the way if you didn't know this is no ordinary cooler just because the pump of this cooler isn't inside the actual block that connects to the IHS the pump is actually located on the tubes very close to the radiator so let's have a look what's inside here we have a little RGB and fan hub actually that comes with it that's very nice so you can have set the power to power this up and then from motherboard you've got a controls from the motherboard to control the RGB and fan headers on this and this actually has six fans and six uh, five volt ARGB uh, ports there just so you know and also as you can see it is the 2.5 ssd size so you can actually just screw it into like a 2.5 ssd uh, tray or whatever mounting kit you have it will go in there which is very very nice or just stick it on the back of the case or panel with this double-sided tape that's included here now we have the actual radiator and the pump and the block and everything here as you can see you do need to apply thermal paste yourself it's not pre-applied so make sure you peel this one up this on the side here is the pump and then underneath here we have the radiator now previously from the pump we had just like a you know dc kind of cable that came out that would just kind of light this up or i think it was a sata power that would light this up but now we have an argb one in there just if you like a, a rgb and then we have a pwm header for the pump there and the cool thing is this is actually be quiet's like own radiator it's not like a third party one that they signed up with someone or actually paired up with someone that's really really cool another cool thing about the be quiet radiators is that as you can see this uh, screw hole in here is actually a fill plot so you can fill the radiator up in, if in overtime your radiator will actually lose a little bit of liquid no problem here just unscrew that one fill it up with that one again until the radiator is full and then you've got like a clean you know fully filled liquid there so there's 100 milliliters there 
water and propylene glycol. And then finally we have the three fans. These are the high RPM fans now here. These are actually even faster than the fan inside the Pure Rock 2 uh, FX. So these are 2500 RPM light wings, 120 millimeter ones. Now the interesting thing is that uh, by default these fans don't come with like a daisy chain function. So you do need to use that hope that comes with it, which is another way of using the, these things or these products together. But it would have been nicer if you had like a daisy chain function there as well, just if you wanted to use them like separately or something like that. And then you've got your mounting kit there. And then this does support LGA 1700 as well as 1200, all the AMD, you know, AM5, AM4 sockets, all of that sort of jazz. By the way, the pump head kind of tubes on the side here are bendable. So you can actually just have this mounted whichever way you want and so on. But the cool thing about this cooler here as well in Pure Loop is that you can actually mount it on the bottom of the case, which usually is a bad idea because the pump would be the highest part of the loop, but now it wouldn't. The actual block would be the highest part. So you can mount it on the bottom as well. And last thing we're going to be looking at is this case. So this is the Pure Base 500FX. And this is basically the same as the 500DX, except for a little bit of tweaking here and there. The difference is you will get four Light Wings fans from Be Quiet with it. There's 320 millimeter Light Wings in the front and one 140 in the back. So let's have a look inside the case. If you're not familiar with this case, this is probably one of my favorite cases as well. And I have to say as well, just because there is quite a few of them that I like, but this is definitely one in my top five, if not actually even higher, just because I like the compact form factor. It is a little bit wider than normal cases, but at the same time, it's very, very like kind of short and kind of squished together. So the actual footprint of this is very, very small, but it looks really, really nice and has a lot of cooling uh, capacity. The front here, by the way, these are RGB kind of lights as well. Kind of, no, they are. They are configurable from your motherboard or from the top here as well. There is actually an RGB like button in there as well. If you wanted to just change the RGB through here, you can make the whole kind of PC uh, RGB be controlled through this. If you want to cycle through these things, but you can you know control it via software as well. But this basically here, if I remember correctly, that comes off very, very awkwardly. Feels like you're breaking it, but you don't. We'll take the back panel off as well. By the way, this is the cool thing about Be Quiet products. You do get like sound dampening as well. It's not just because it's quiet or it's just the name Be Quiet. It actually means quiet as well. Look, you've got sound dampening on the back panel there. Oh, goodness me. I remember this was the same with the 500 DX case. The front panel just feels like you're going to break it. It just comes off like that. As you can see, there are like um, connectors over here that connect this light strip up and then you can control it on your motherboard or so on. So there is actually a mesh front panel, as you can see, as well as a dust filter that is in the front here, magnetic dust filter, you can just take off. And then we have the 320 millimeter light wings fans in here. Now, if you have the Pure Loop 360 millimeter one, what you could do is actually have them work, you know, push and pull configuration. So you have one on this side as well. But the thing with these fans is that there is not a lot of illumination on the back side of the fan. There is a little bit of a circle on there, but most of it is in the front of the fan. So just so you know, if you want like a massive circle on the back of the fan as well, you kind of see like a little tiny kind of half the, the size, like a skinny kind of circle, not like this in here. As you remember from our build inside the Jones Plus i100 case. Now Be Quiet must have a lot of different variations of these 120 millimeter fans because these are 1,700 RPM fans. So they are actually slightly different than the actual Pure Loop ones um, that come with the cooler. So now I'll actually take back what I said, don't run these fans and then these fans in push and pull configuration because like 50% of the speed on these fans and these fans mean different things. They're going to spin different speeds, which means that you will dam damage eventually like one of the fans because one will push to the other one or pull from the other one. So it's not ideal. So when you're going to get whatever cooler or whatever comes with it, then just leave these fans in here. 
or what you could do is just move these on the top and then you have even more like exhaust illumination there. If you're wondering what's the capacity of radiators and fans in the front, you can put up to 360 millimeter radiator in here or 280 millimeter. So if you look in the back of the case, we have actually an RGB and a fan hub here as well, which is very, very interesting. As you can see, it already comes with this RGB fan hub, which is actually not included in the 500DX case. They might have had a fan hub, but not an ARGB hub as well, which is a lot different over here. So basically what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fans and six ARGB connectors, which is a lot. Often you have maybe only two ARGB connectors on your motherboard. So now in here, you can actually connect them all up and have them all, you know, actually controlled and things like that. So you're not going to run out a five volt ARGB headers. Also, interestingly, the actual LED strip from the front of the case is connected here as well. So all the RGB of this is connected here. So let's have a look at what front panel connectors we do have. Reset button, and power button then we have a fan header or this is the pwm uh, actual signal connector so this controls the signal of all of this like the speeds and things like that then we have a usb c front panel header then we have a hd audio header usb type a header then a sata controller and 5 volt argb header from the motherboard so this is going to be interesting actually i'm wondering how does this connect up because most likely all of this ARGB will be synced with everything so you can't like control anything separately in here because I can see that there is only one ARGB 5 volt uh, controller which means that this signal will control all of these separately because uh, the motherboard won't know that there is actually more than one connected to the end of this one. On the bottom there you have two hard drive cages for 3.5 inch hard drives if you want to add that there you can easily remove that as well. Then in the back of the motherboard you can see there's another 2.5 inch SSD connector port. One of them is occupied by this fan and RGB hub editor but you can put another one there for SSDs or hard drives. Then there's a little bit of space here as well. If you wanted to put, for example, the other ARGB hub that came with there with the fan controllers as well, you can either stick it in there or put it in there to have extra you know, space and so on. So as you can see here in the back there with this Be Quiet logo there, you could put 2.5 inch SSDs and then have the actual cables like run underneath this cover, which makes it very, very slick, very clean cable management, but till sh still show you where the SSDs have been mounted. So I like that a lot. In terms of motherboard support, it supports up to ATX size motherboard. There's a mesh panel here, so you can put your power supply one way or the other way, suck from the bottom or actually from the top. There is a bottom cover filtered there as well. So power supply won't suck like, a, you know, dust in from there. On top of the case, there is some more fan support so this supports either 240 millimeter or 220 millimeter fans you can put a radiator here as well but it's the same 240 or 280 millimeter fans in the back there is one exhaust and this has been equipped with 140 millimeter fan. So the others are 120, this is 140 and this is 1500 RPM model. It does support 120 as well if you want them to match and so on. There is no vertical GPU bracket actually available. You could undo this cover in the back there, but then that just helps you to get these GPU fixing screws out and things so that there isn't like an extra space available. So this kind of closes the space, but there is no vertical GPU mount. So the PSU can be backloaded, not sideloaded, which is very helpful as well when building in small, uh, smaller cases. So this bracket comes out, you can put it on this PSU and then put it back in there. Now then, if you want to see a build with this, let me know in the comment section below what's your ideas. Maybe we can make it happen. If you're interested in picking any of these up, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it a lot. I'll see you next time. Likes and subs and bye bye.